Howdy, one and all. Today is a big day in the YNAB universe. Yep, universe? Universe. As you may have noticed when you went to add your last night was rough commuting coffee to your budget, uh, blam. Everything looked different. Like, what the? And before you panic and weep into your coffee, I just wanna pause real quick and recognize that change is hard. I get it. We recognize what you're feeling right now. A moment of silence for the change, please. Okay. The most important question we need to address is why the change? We don't do things without a reason, right? We're not just trying to ruin your day. Well, let's transport back like a year ago or four years ago or whenever it was that you first downloaded what's now your favorite app, YNAB. You installed it on your phone and bam, right away you set up your first budget and it was seamless and effortless and beautiful and you were all like, oh, this makes complete and total sense, right? Mm, well, that was, that's, that's not really, yeah, that's not how it went, was it? No, likely you had one of these reactions. Oh, okay, so, um, hey Alexa, what are true expenses? So do I put in the amount of money I have or the amount I want to have? Okay, well, I don't think this is the app for me. Delete. What? YNAB had what we like to call a learning curve and a big one, just a double rainbow of a learning curve all the way across the sky. And it made it kind of hard to share it with your friends and family, right? Hey, you've got to try this app. It has changed my life. All we need is a four hour sit down teaching session. There are three live workshops you want to sign up for, two hour video course you want to watch, read the book, absorb the entire blog in your sleep. And if you have any questions, just text me. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, we're sorry about that. And that's where this new redesign comes in. And trust me, YNAB has gotten bigger, better, and badder. The good kind of batter, like a good bad. So let's hit it. Eight ways your YNAB budget just got better. First up, we've given your budget a fresh look. On the mobile app, there are two different views to choose from based on what information you wanna be able to see right off the bat. When progress bars are turned on, the only column of information you'll be able to see is the available to spend column because 95% of the time, that's the only information we need to be able to see anyway. But don't worry, if you wanna see how much money you've assigned to a category, just tap any category and bam, the assigned column and the category group totals both apparate out of nowhere. You're a wizard, Wineheb. If you feel like you don't prefer the progress bars in your budget and you would like to turn them off, yeah, we won't be offended. <laughs> Just tap the more button in the upper left corner of the app and tap hide progress bars. Now in this view, you'll see both the assigned column and the available to spend column, along with the category group totals. As for the web app, you might be wondering, where did all that golden information at the top of my budget go? It's still there. It's just tucked away in these little collapsible nuggets over here on the side, so you only need to see it when you want. Also, if you're in any future or past month in your budget, travel time quick with our new Today button. And if you're curious where all of your ready to assign dollars came from or where they went, just click it to reveal this handy dandy ready to assign breakdown. <sighs> Next, the terminology in your budget is much more approachable and intuitive. If you missed it, to be budgeted will now and henceforth be known as ready to assign and goals have now been dubbed targets. Long live the budget, queens and kings. Have you ever noticed that the word budget and budgeted were used in three different places to mean three different things? Open your budget app to budget your dollars um, in your budget. Getting major there, there, there vibes over here. Something had to change. So now the dollars that sit at the top of your budget waiting to be given their noble duties are now ready to assign to categories in your budget. We have also formally declared that the word goals should now be reserved for your actual goals. Like saving for a house or paying off your student loans or building a limestone castle from your own homegrown limes. I don't know what this accent going in and out thing is. So now you'll assign money to your financial goals and set targets to help you get there. Huzzah. Next, we have automatic prioritization of your dollars. Is that just me or does that sound amazing? One of the newest and dare I say sci-fi-iest features of this redesign is auto-assign. 
Like a true sorcerer of your budget, AutoAssign will consider any unassigned dollars that need to be assigned to categories and will develop a preview showing you how it wants to distribute your dollars based on your upcoming bills and due dates. Like what? That's awesome. A ton of research went into helping your budget identify which of your categories most need your dollars, as well as helping the brand new to YNAB budgeter learn how easy it is to start budgeting in the middle of the month. Just feeding two birds with one scone. <laughs> Pro birds. You can always make any adjustments you want to the auto assign preview and it will assign the dollars the way you want them. It's a game changer, truly. The auto assign preview has not made its way to the web app yet, but if you think we're not already working on it, then you don't even know us at all. Next up, and my personal favorite, change your budget easy as pie with edit mode. Probably the number one most exciting feature to me as someone who is constantly updating, changing, editing, and getting distracted by their budget during the workday. <laughs> what? To use this slick new mobile feature, tap the edit mode symbol in the upper right corner of your app to edit all of your category names, target amounts, due dates, budget organization, all in one place. Love this. Next, see your progress at a glance on mobile. Yep, we're talking about progress bars, because sometimes your brain just doesn't have the capacity to process numbers. This shiny new feature, which you may recognize from the web app, has finally made its way to the mobile app, and boy, are they pretty. The quick and dirty is that progress bars show you the funding status of each of your categories visually based on how much you've told YNAB you want in each category by when. To learn more about the functionality of progress bars, you can check out this handy dandy video that goes much deeper into the function, theory, and pizzazz of progress bars. That video will also be linked in the description down below. Next, see your recent money moves on mobile. Another feature that started on the web app, now we hear. Money moves solves that frequent question of, okay, now, how did I get here? By equipping your budget with a trail of proverbial breadcrumbs to follow. Money Moves is an amazingly helpful tool in two kinds of situations. One, for partners that budget together and need a living record of who moved what money where. And two, for the normal human who can't remember why they walked into a room nine times a day. Next, the whole reason for this redesign, YNAB is now simpler for your friends and family to learn. Getting down to the meat and potatoes of the redesign, we just want YNAB to be the app that works for everyone. There shouldn't be a learning curve, so we squash that bad boy with a new learning-driven design. The app walks you step-by-step step through adding all of your expenses, learning YNAB's four rules, learning how to prioritize your dollars, all while you're setting up your budget. And they won't even know they're learning it. But they are. It's that good. The new setup flow is easier, the category structure is more intuitive. And if you'd like to experience what a new user experiences when they first get started with YNAB, go ahead, start a new budget on your account just for funsies, not for realsies. And you'll experience a more simplified version of what the new to YNAB budgeter goes through when they first set up their budget with YNAB. And lastly, we built a foundation for even better budget features. With this release, we've essentially built a brand new framework underneath your whole budget. One that's more robust, cleaner, and paving the way for some pretty sweet new features. Y'all, there is a new debt management tool coming that will help you visualize your debt payoff plan and budget for it way more powerfully. This thing is detailed. This thing is pumped. And I can't say much, but is there a new feature coming that will make it easier to budget with a partner or as a family? I don't know, Bueller. And for the true tech nerds out there, our developers have built a new framework inside an invisible cog of YNAB called the Shared Library. In short, our apps on our Apple and Android devices are written in two completely different programming languages, so when we built a new feature in YNAB or fixed a bug, we would have to build that feature or fix that bug separately in both places. And sometimes we couldn't do it exactly the same way. The new shared library is written in one programming language but runs on all devices, which means as YNAB continues to grow and flourish, both Apple and Android devices will experience all features and fixes with much more parity. So, I hope after seeing these eight points broken down that you will let down your walls that resist change and eagerly welcome this new redesign. 
If you've still got some questions on this redesign, we've got some helpful resources for you. We've got a budget breakdown cheat sheet to help you get oriented to this new redesign. We've got some new blogs. Our teachers will be running live one-on-one -on -one open hour sessions for all your questions. And y'all, we got new help docs for Earthling. Check them out. I dare you. Bigger, better budgets are coming your way and we can't wait for you to experience them. So as always, happy budgeting and see you next time. We recognize what you're feeling right now and I have a hair in my eye. Uh, the quick and dirty is that progress bars show you, uh, wait, what do they show you? Next, see your progress at a grant, uh, at a, <laughs> see your progress at a grants. Even better budget features. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. No, oh, I can't see anything. Check out our budget breakdown cheat sheet to locate all the cheat sheet. Wow, that is hard to say. Cheat sheet? What the? That is a weird word. Check out our budget breakdown cheat sheet. <laughs> Oh gosh, I can't handle it. That's English?